Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 11 version 25H2, which is this year's annual feature update, as I have posted previously, is currently being actively tested by Microsoft in the Dev Channel in the Insider program with build 26200. Now, just to let you know that it seems that 25H2 could be making changes to how desktop shortcuts work. Now, just to demonstrate, currently in Windows 11 24H2, or Windows in general, as you may have seen me post in numerous videos, if you right-click on a shortcut of a browser or an app and you head to Properties, you get the target field, which shows you the path to the app or to the file in the target field. Or as another example, if we head to my start menu and I drag that onto my desktop, create a shortcut, right click, properties, there we go. The same applies. There's a target field and we can actively work in that and we can actually create command line flags which I've posted in numerous browser videos where you can add command line flags to the executables in this target field by modifying the shortcuts target. Now, just to let you know that in the dev channel currently and as spotted by desk modder, this target field is grayed out and it doesn't show you the full path to the file, which could make things a little bit more and less convenient, especially if you are like me on the channel and you are working with command line flags in the target field. Now, currently in the dev channel, which as mentioned is where 25H2 has been tested, to get to an actively working target field, which shows you the full path, what you would have to do is you would have to head into your start menu, right click on the app or the browser, head to more, open file location, and then, then head to the shortcut, right click, properties, and then the target field with the full path will be displayed. That's how it currently is in 25H2 in the dev channel. So that could get a little bit less convenient and a little bit annoying, especially if you are working with shortcuts and command on flags and so on. Now at this stage, there is no word from Microsoft regarding this change. So because it is in the dev channel, it could be possibly a bug because there is a new start menu that's been tested and is going to be rolling out with 25H2, which has got a new categories view. It will adjust to the size of your screen. The size of the start menu will adjust. I'll actually leave a video on that link down below and in the end screen. So it could be a bug related to the new start menu, which I hope it is, and it actually doesn't roll out as a new so-called feature or change with 25H2 because it just makes things a lot less convenient with a lot more extra clicking and moving around the OS. But anyway, I'll keep you guys posted and um, if I get any more info, I'll let you know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.